You know one thing your boy ain't gonna do is front with y'all, man. After the most recent patch, it's been a little rough in the 2K community. The 2K community has been going through it with game crashes and bugs. It, it's been really overwhelming. And to put icing on the cake, it seems like there is an animation glitch on the ground. <laughs> oh my God. We try to fix the game. Part of the 2K community trying to break it. I can't make this up. So we got a lot to talk about in this video. So without further ado, grab yourself a brew and let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you done know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out there so people will like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, because you know everybody's gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know, we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got a notification bell online, come to the comment section, type first, second, third, know the game of Brew Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all much love, much respect. And we gotta start with the animation glitch. Shout out to my guy Yardman Gaming. You don't ask me, Bridget, you don't know. He posted a video yesterday exposing a new animation glitch. And in the clip, it's a 6-7 with short player 6. Now, I ain't gonna front with y'all. The way 2K have the 6 set up right now is a little annoying. I created a KD build at 6'9, right? He's not even 6'10. And no matter if I got the best playmaking possible, I can't even get KD6. Make it make sense to me. My 6'6 build can't get Michael Jordan 6. Make it make sense to me, 2K. How is that possible? How? Y'all just do things without no logic behind it. And you know I don't like to press on y'all too heavy, man, because I know it's just a difficult task. But y'all got to talk to some people when y'all are making these type of decisions. Why? How can I not get KD6 on a 6 9 I'm sorry. I didn't come here to rant this morning. But just had to get it off my chest. I'm sorry. It just doesn't make sense. So anyways, so there's a new animation glitch. And shout out to my guy Yad, as I said before. And I want y'all to check this clip out. Now, this clip is of a 6 7 with short people. 6. Check it out, y'all.
I just gotta shake my head. I gotta shake my head, man. Although I'm upset that we can't get certain six with certain heights to certain players that we should be getting because these players are taller than this set players in the my player. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I really don't because this is going to throw off the balance of the game, going to break the game. You're going to have centers up there with Steph Curry 6, y'all. Y'all know how terrible this 2K community is with logic. It's going to be bad <laughs> if they really keep this up on the ground. Now, the thing is, you could really tell very easily if someone is glitching their build because one thing that 2K allow us to do is look at other people's 6 yes yes so there's gonna be a lot of snitching out there so be careful if you decide to do this glitch because this glitch was around last year where a lot of people was actually deleting their bills then reaching out to 2k and 2k would give them back the bills but it will be glitched with the said player that it deleted six so i don't know if it's the same method they're using but all I'm saying is this year, people could look at your card and tell your SIGs. So I could almost guarantee that they're going to be a lot of snitching. So be careful if you decide to do this. Now we got some more things to talk about, man, because the 2K community has been going through it with some stability issues. It seems like the badge glitch is still going on. Now Chuck tweeted out, he said, the badge reset glitch is still happening. It's not worth it to play any game modes on NBA 2K24 right now because there is no guarantee that you'll be able to get your progress back. He said, if you do play, play with a bill that you don't care about. Retweet to spread awareness. Now, I will say this. For me, I don't really check the badges at all, so I wouldn't know. Until yesterday when a lot of people was asking me, yo, check and see if it's happening because while I was streaming, and I don't think any team necessarily quit out. So I was like, uh, it probably won't happen because no teams are quit out. But I did check and then my badges was just fine. Even after I got off stream, I went and checked in the bill I was playing yesterday, which we did have a team quit out and my badges was just fine. So it seemed like it's not 100% guaranteed to happen every time teams quit out, just sometimes for some people. So that might be better to know but still walking that fine line is a little bit shaky as well. But one of the area of concern for a lot of people in the 2K community is the jump shot changes. A lot of people is out there still struggling with jump shots. Now Bandit tweeted this out. He said jump shot Q got to be messed up. Now I'm trying to censor this the best way I can possible because there are going to be a lot of swearing in these tweets. Okay, so be patient with your boy, man. I'm trying to fit in words right here, okay? He said, this is not the same set point I was using before the patch. I can't shoot. I'm about to tweak out. <laughs> that's how I kind of, you know, that's the tone I kind of, you know, envision him tweeting, writing this tweeting. So Nadex also tweeted this out. He said, explicit as devs, I got a sense of that, broke the game, LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> I know my release by heart. You can't fool me. My N word. This stuff is bad. Okay. Again, try to censor it as much as possible so a lot of people are upset. Now, Hank the Tank post this clip on this looks bad. This looks bad. Now, this is only one clip. It might be a delay or glitch in the matrix. I've got to put this out. i got to put this disclaimer out. Now, he said, What was done to shooting? And then he posts this clip to go with this tweet. I want y'all to check this clip out. Yeah, that don't look good at all. <laughs> that don't look good at all. No. This has brought me to a few conclusions, right? Because I went out there with my KD bill. And I gotta be 100, I was shooting just fine with my KD bill, right? Now I got the same jump shot I released recently. And a lot of people in that same comments of that jump shot video said, yo, after the last patch, I was shooting really good with this jump shot, but now I'm struggling a little bit, getting a lot of inconsistencies. So my synopsis of the whole thing is some people are experiencing some glitches 
in the gameplay and how smooth it's playing. And probably when they're about to shoot, because one of the things a lot of people say the game is running a lot smoother as well. But it seemed like the jump shot is so inconsistent, but I got on yesterday and was shooting just fine. But it seemed like I'm not the only one. Even Double H tweeted this out. He said, new patch got me shooting like Curry on a 783. So a lot of people is not experiencing these inconsistencies that same a lot of people in 2K community is experiencing. So it seems like there are people on both sides of the fence. So my thing is probably some people getting some glitches in their jump shots and they just don't know it as shown in that last clip. Let me know what y'all think about that assessment right there, man. Your boy could be off, man, but you know conspiracy boot is always somewhere close by. The next thing that they did that was a negative, and I don't know why 2K would do something like this, is they patch the ability to go into Gatorade facility and get your hotspots. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Because 2K, that's more realistic than you think. Because let's look at it this way, 2K. It's like me going to the gym and getting some shots up. Guess what? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get more comfortable in these spots because I'm practicing it. And now you rewarded someone for going to the Gatorade facility and getting some practice shots up. It made sense. So why would y'all patch something like this in the game? Again, I don't know who y'all are speaking to when y'all decide to make some of these decisions, but it's so tone deaf, y'all. It doesn't make sense. Why would you patch someone going in the Gatorade facility with a teammate and getting shots up to get in their hot spots? It just makes more sense to keep it in the game. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think, man. So that's all I got for y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all know it's your boy, Simi. You know your boy gonna always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. And I want y'all opinion on everything in the comment section as far as the animation <laughs> glitch as far as if you are being consistent with your shooting or not as far as how stable has the game been after the most recent patch man for me overall my experience has been pretty positive outside of me trying to get to the street courts my game crashed multiple times but after persistence i eventually got in there and was able to play but it shouldn't be like that but it's expected as well and i'm not trying to really give 2k a pass but usually if you've been in the 2k community long enough after any major patches there are always a lot of stability issues y'all now the thing i would say is before i head out 2k devs i know you all ain't gonna listen to your boy but take a foolish man's advice you all should at least acknowledge that y'all are fixing some of these issues. I know y'all are working behind the scenes, but all the 2K community need to see is one devs tweet out, we know the stability issues, we seen your feedback, and we are working on addressing these as soon as possible. And that will actually do a lot of good. Trust your boy on that. Just trust your boy on that. Going ghost right now is not the answer. And I, that's what I'm seeing right now with the 2K devs. And I respect y'all. That's why I'm telling y'all. This is not the approach from a consumer standpoint. Because if your whole world is being chaotic and the leaders, just look at it this way, right? Let's say, and I'm being a little extreme right now, of course. It's just pure chaos. The buildings are falling down and your leaders are not saying anything. What would you think? What would you think? It's smart for the leader to come on and say, yo, we are working on addressing these issues. We'll get to it as soon as possible. Trust me, it will do a lot of good for y'all to step up and say something. Just to acknowledge, just to let us know that you know the issues that's going on. Because right now I'm tired of these palm trees. <laughs> I'm tired of these palm trees. They're messing with my vibe. <laughs> but anyways, man, let me know what y'all think. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Sim. First time to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Have a blessed one. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace.